The much-anticipated Ford Broncos paint colors have leaked. Our outdoors team has found the best way to dry ski gloves. And Lodge updated and re-released a very handy cast iron pan. This is just some of the product news we reported on this week. If you're interested in any more information about anything we cover in this episode, make sure to check out the links in the description below for uh, our online coverage. And you can follow up there and learn a lot more. For now, let's get started. By now, we're all getting pretty impatient to see the new Ford Bronco, 2021 Ford Bronco. Allegedly, it'll be revealed at April's New York Auto Show, just across town here. And there's been wide and deep speculation about what the truck may look like when it debuts, but so far there is no 100% definitive word on design. However, 10 paint colors and their names have appeared on the website Automotive Touchup, which offers car owners OEM paint colors for DIY repairs of stone chips and scratches, etc. So if the information is accurate, it seems that Ford is continuing its funky color naming tradition, which we are fans of. So here are 10 paint colors for the new Bronco with their respective swatches. Antimatter Blue Metallic, Cyber Orange Pearl, which might be my favorite, Fighter Jet Gray, that's got a heavy dose of green in there, Carbonized Gray Metallic, Oxford White, which is kind of a bold color choice for a Bronco these days, Race Red, which is my second favorite, Lucid Red Pearl, Area 51, and I can neither confirm nor deny that that is uh, my favorite color name. Absolute Black and Iconic Silver Metallic. Writer Tyler Duffy pointed out that there isn't a light blue color option among those 10, which seems like a miss considering it's such a classic Bronco color. I want to see that white and blue two-tone. But not that we're complaining much, there are some really good looking colors in the mix. And in addition to those, new colors from the Ford F-150 leaked on the same site. Looks like the truck will offer 15 colors in all. So you can check out all of the Broncos and the F-150's colors in the link in the description below this video. And uh, in the comments farther down, let us know what your thoughts are. When you configure your dream Bronco, which will you choose? Are there colors that are missing, colors you want to see? We want to hear all about it. Skiers! Ever wondered what that little loop on the fingers of your gloves is meant to do? Well, we talked to the pros to get the final word, and it turns out it's an extremely practical feature that can be used two ways. It's a carabiner loop. You can use it to either hang your gloves off the back of your pack with the opening face down, It'll keep snow and whatever else out, and or hang them fingers up same direction when drying to let moisture drip out the bottom. The more you know. We also talked to the good folks at Hestra who make fine, fine gloves to grab a couple more tips for drying out ski gloves. First of all, you want to dry them at room temperature, presumably because warm temps, like in a clothes dryer for instance, may compromise their shape and materials. Also, don't turn your gloves inside out since it's tough to get the liner and layers back perfectly once they're dry. But thirdly, if the liners are removable, always take them out and dry them separately in order to speed up the whole process. Now we've seen a lot of ski gloves around the office lately and wonder what your gloves of choice might be or if you have other recommendations for us. And if so, do they have the loop? And did you know how to use it before you watch this video? Be honest. Lastly, any fans of cast iron cookware are very familiar with the brand Lodge. The company offers excellent quality pre-season pans at prices almost entirely too good to pass up. The fish pan is no exception and it's not meant to be used only for fish, so it's very versatile. It's $100, it's 21 by 11 inches, so it's big, and it's meant to be used for big meals for lots of people. You can use it over two stovetop burners or a campfire or a grill. And you can fry fish in it, as the name suggests, but it's also great to use as a skillet for camp breakfasts and huge mass cornbread baking. The fish pan is a new version of an old Lodge favorite. The brand brought it back with several updates. It's two pounds lighter now and has no stubby feet on the bottom, it's just flat. Plus, there are detachable steel handles to move it about easily. 
That's it for this week's episode. Before you go, check out more product news videos here and subscribe to the Gear Patrol channel here. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.